What's up Hyper Poppers? I'm Josh and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mix Hyper Pop vocals. Also, it doesn't matter which DAW you use. FL Studio, Ableton, all of these techniques work. So last night I cooked up a little vibe that I'm going to be using for today's tutorial and here it is. So what I'm thinking about when I'm mixing Hyper Pop vocal is that I want it to be really tuned, really in your face. And so the ways that we're going to accomplish this are through a mix of tuning, EQ, compression, and effects like overdrive and saturation. Here's my lead vocal right here. And the first thing we got in the chain is Auto-Tune Pro. If you're looking for a free option, M Auto Pitch is a great one. Now this can kind of be intimidating, but what you really need to focus on is just getting the key right and then the retune speed. The retune speed is determining how much of like a tuned robotic-y kind of sound you want. And in Hyperpop, usually it's turned all the way up and so for this track i set it around six or seven just giving it a really tuned sound the next thing to consider is adding some format to your vocal and so i chose to do that with manipulator but once again there are a lot of different ways to do this and auto pitch or little altar boy are two other good options and let me show you what affecting the format does then we got a little overdrive just adding some weight and kind of grit to it next we got some compression and so what compression is going to help you with is just keep that vocal nice and level the whole way through a lot of times when beginners send me their mixes their vocal is all over the place like they'll be really loud in one section and then really quiet in another and so the way you solve this is through compression right here i've got a couple compressors going and here's what they're doing case cut is a movie i don't wake up got it in the basement and she for my face huh i've got a couple compressors and a good place that i usually kind of go to is like six to seven db of gain reduction but it's all about what sounds good just make sure to use your ears next we got the fresh air plug-in just adding some brightness to the vocal then we're doing a little bit of eq taking out some of the lows this is something that's critical to hyper pop vocals because they're really bright and in your face a lot of people just go turning up the highs a lot which can work but an easier way to do that is just taking out a lot of the lows because then the highs appear brighter next is this crush plugin and this is actually a free plugin if you don't have it you should definitely check it out this plugin is sick to just add weight and kind of distortion and saturation to the vocal it's kind of just making it sound shady which is what i want my hyper pop vocal to sound like got a little dsing with the pro deesser Case cut is a movie I don't wake up. Then we got the soft tube saturator going, just adding a little texture to the vocal. This plugin is also free, so you got no excuses. So then I have that lead going into this bus with fresh air on it, just adding a little bit more brightness. Now, if you're about to fall asleep, make sure to pay attention to this next section. This is so important and such a plug for Hyperbot vocals, and that is to use OTT on the vocals. Check this out. Here's without OTT. Case cut is a movie I don't wake up. See, it's cool, but check this out. Case cut is a movie I don't wake up. Without? Case cut is a movie I don't wake up with case cut is a movie i don't wake up now ott is just over the top compression all you need to know is that it brings out that crispy top end that you've been wanting in the vocal now if you're in fl studio or any other daw don't worry because you can get ott for free once again no excuses in 2022 after the ott you've got a little eq taking out the lows which i would always recommend at putting after ott because a lot of times it'll bring up those low frequencies that you took out previously in the mixing process and then a little bit of smooth i mean soothe just taking out the resonant frequency the next thing I want to talk about for hyper pop vocals is layering. This is super, super important. Something I personally like to do is to do different layers for different sections of my verse or the song. Now for the beginning of this verse, I just had two stacks on top of the lead. Each of these dubs is processed with the exact same chain that we had on the original vocal. And here's what those sound like. Got it in the basement and she for my face, huh? Now for my dubs, I always pan them hard left or hard right. Unless I'm doing more than in which case I might do like 40, 40, 45, 45, etc. And this will just give you that really full wide sound. Case cut is a movie I don't wake up. Got it in the basement and she for my face, huh? Nine times out of ten, I want a friend's though. Nine times out of ten, I'm on a bass hub. Now, this was cool for the first part of the verse, but for that next part, I wanted to add just an extra little sauce to it. And so for that, I added falsettas. Now, if you're not a big music nerd like I am, you might not know what that is. It's basically that high little kind of like ushered tone and it sounds really good when stacked over lower tone vocals let me show you here are the falsettas by themselves brace yourself for a second these aren't the prettiest because i'm not the best singer now let's hear what those sound like on top of the leads and the other dubs and you know we keep it moving keep my money set in the center with a group in says keep the mirror sauce and 
Now for this next section, I got a couple other things going on and that's the use of ad libs or a call and response kind of thing. So let me show you what I did there. What I wanted in this section was kind of like a call and response kind of thing. And so that's exactly what I did right here. Something I like to do with these kind of ad lib tracks though, is to process them the same as the lead and either EQ them differently or use a doubler. And this kind of just helps separate them from the rest of the vocals. Now here's with the doubler. And anxiety. And here's without. And anxiety. If you're listening with headphones or monitors, you can tell that that doubler just makes it sound really nice and wide. And for the next part, I decided to harmonize with the lead vocal. And this is how Glaive, Eric DOA, all those really popular hyper pop artists get that really dope sounding vocal that just sounds just incredible to the ears. Here's what the harmonies sound like on their own. On top of the lead vocal, this is what it sounds like. And so for harmonies, I'll usually do a low. Then I'll do a higher harmony. And what this does is just one, sound really pretty, and two, really help fill out the frequency spectrum of the vocals. You can also hear I have a little delay going on, and I'm just automating that on the certain words and phrases that I want the delay to sound on. Another little quick tip you can use in any DAW is to make your vocal sound kind of metallic. This is what I did in this particular song. This is a really cool effect, and the way, way you do it is basically just use a delay. Take it off of the sync feature. We don't want that. Set it to time and then kind of make the milliseconds really, really short. From there, you can kind of just mess with one of them and then also the feedback and you'll get different kind of metallic-y kind of tones that just sound really cool. I mean, I can't use it so tiny. 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 So you can see how you can get a lot of really cool sounds out of this. The last thing I'm gonna go over are those little stutter effects that you hear in Hyperpop a lot. Here's how you do it. People overcomplicate this so much. What you really just need to do is set the grid to whatever kind of chop you wanna make and then just chop up the vocal. This was the original vocal. And then you can just cut out certain parts of the vocal to give it this kind of stuttery effect. And then it's just whatever sounds good to you. Another cool thing you can do is pitch your stutters. Certain pitches to try out are up 12, up 24, minus 12, minus 24, or up seven or minus five. This time I broke that rule though and did minus six. I don't know, I just thought it sounded cool. And I'm on a bass hub. Another kind of stutter is this one right here. And you know, like, the way you do that is just take the beginning of a word and phrase that you want to stutter into, copy, paste. Always make sure to kind of fade these because otherwise you'll get these weird clicking sounds. And sometimes I like to consolidate them and then just draw a little fade. And you know, like, keep it moving, keep it Simple. If you're wondering about reverb and delay, you don't need to focus on them that much in Hyperpop. If you want a quick recommendation just to try out, I would recommend trying out room reverbs with really short decay times. Wouldn't use like a hall or a plate or anything like that. Cause those are more for like pop, like official type vocals. And for this, I feel like the room reverb is the play. Feel free to experiment. It's whatever sounds good to you at the end of the day. Well, that's it for the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It would really help you boy out. If you have any questions at all, make sure to post them in the comments or hit me up on Instagram. My DMs are always open. Regardless of anything though, y'all keep vibing and making dope music. I'll see y'all next time.